hello, hello, welcome back to Jameson's. I'm actually fascinated with the Matrix movie and the Matrix character. After I build a 1-6 scale Matrix Trinity figure, I even get further. I want to build her a custom-made 1-6 scale motorcycle just like the movie in the Matrix Reload. At the last couple months, I have built a 1-6 scale custom-made figure with my concept and available tools and I get so much great comments. Therefore, I will do my best and bring you more custom-made figures, toy reviews and how to repaint tutorials. Please stay tuned and don't forget to share and subscribe to the channel for support. Okay, let's back to the Matrix Trinity and the bike. In this video, I will do a quick review of the 1.6 scale motorcycle I have selected, sanding, color mixing, repaint, and I'll show you step by step. Hope you enjoy it. Alright, without further ado, let us begin. Here I have the Ducati 1.6 scale motorcycle made from Maestro. This motorcycle is not the exactly same model of Ducati. In the Matrix below, the Trinity motorcycle actually is Ducati 996. But unfortunately, I couldn't find this model in 1.6 scale available online, except the official one built from Gentle Giant, but they are quite pricey. That's why I'm getting this one, because it's within my budget, only $40. I get this one online. If you simply search 1.6 scale motorcycles, you will be able to find this. And I'm sure you will see other options as well. For my own reference, I like this one and they are fit my budget range. Let's have a look at the packaging. The box is really nice and we can see the motorcycle printer on the side and at the back. They have three different color design theme. Italy, Germany and France. And what I select is Italy. Let's open it and check it out. In order to take the bike, we have to remove the screw underneath the bike in these sections. Simply unscrew it and then you can remove it easily. Don't forget the bike stand as well. Now there you go, here we have the Ducati motorcycles. The first impression is quite stunning actually, the color is really nice. I feel like, oh, do I need to repaint it? But anyway, this is the purpose I get this bike. So this color will be stay in this video as good memory and all need to go later. What a shame, and actually the color is really really good quality as you can see, glossy and shiny. It comes with rubber tire and it's rolled really well. This is very simple motorcycle, it doesn't mold it with a lot of detail, but I really like the simplicity and how clean it looks. Especially the tail part, I love the ventilation stripe and the single pipe design. And I really like the back wheel section, they mold it with the pattern and detail on it. Also at the front wheel section as well. The front wheel rotation actually quite limited. It comes with rubber tire and it rolls really well too. I believe this is the weaker part. It molded in one solid pieces with not so much detail. The bike actually rolled perfectly well. Just simply clip both sides to install the stand so you can display the bike this way. I really like these spring sections. It makes the bike look realistic. Alright, here I have the 1-6 scale custom made Trinity with the bike. In order to fit Trinity to the bike, I have brought an extra female glove handset. It comes with 4 handsets with different usage and it costs about $7. And again, this is the cheapest one within the budget. You can definitely find other options. Alright, here I have the Trinity fit on the bike. Let's get a closer look. Although it looks amazing together, but after the repaint, I believe it will look even more stunning. Let's do it! My plan is, the first, I will disassemble the whole figure. To make sure the paint can stay on the body, I will send it out, directly use the black color as the base. And I will cover a different layer of metallic paint to create a dynamic color. Here I have my old collection, the Akira Canada bike from McFarland's. I repaint this long time ago. You can see the metallic rack on this bike. It looks like the Iron Man red armor. I will use the same concept to do this motorcycle repaint. In this project, I'm gonna use a simple, cheap spray paint that you can easily find in the hardware shop. The first one is glossy black. The second one is sparkling black. The next one is sparkling silver. This is the main color that I used as a base in the Akira Canada bike. The sparkling effect may be not as fine as you thought, but it works so well on the vehicle. I finish it just simply spray a red transparent color on top of it and this is the result. The body color I have selected the Tamiya TS20 metallic green and finally I will seal it with a clear glossy spray. Alright, here is the fun part begin. Luckily this whole figure assembled by screw. Just simply unscrew it can break it apart. There's no need to disassemble the whole figure. Mainly we just need to remove the part that we need to repaint. 
Alright, here we got all the part we need Included the fuel tank This fuel tank part is actually make for a very nice die card And we have the front sections And the front wheel sections And the side sections and this small part, we can simply remove but unscrew it This front wheel section, I have to be, be careful because I want to keep the detail that molded on it I will remove the red color using the same cheap thinner that I used to remove the Trinity fingernails color This thinner obviously is very very strong Right after I apply, I can see the color has been melted And now I worry they also will melt the detail on the part as well So I need to try another way to remove it without further damaging cause As I say, the thinner is very strong as we see the molded top details has gone and hopefully you guys will use the other method to do a better job Alright, next is the sanding I'm using a simple hardware shop sandpaper Mainly I want to remove the painting on the glossy side in order to get the new paint stay solidly Until this stage, we do the job and then I will continue to do the rest Alright, here all the sanding job done and next is the spray Basically, I will use the old chopstick to stick on the part that I need to spray Unfortunately, I couldn't show you how I spray it because I only have small area and I don't want to damage my camera lens But don't worry, I will still show you part by part Okay, here you see this is the first layer which I use the glossy black color The next, I will spray it with the sparkling black and now you see the sparkling black didn't cover the whole sections When you compare with the first layer, you will see it definitely present more metallic on it And this is the result I need And I have all the part in spray with the sparkling black And ready for next step And next the third layer is the sparkling silver The main thing I use for the sparkling silver is the highlight So I can present the color in different layer effect Also we get more depth for the metallic green And it won't present too bright overtaking the dark color Alright, here is the first try The metallic green is actually quite strong I just simply apply one single light layer And I'm so happy with the effect I will do the rest in the same way And the next, I gonna apply a few layers of glossy clear To seal it We'll get back to you guys shortly Alright, here you go We have all parts has been sprayed I love the color and I love the result And all the parts have achieved the color that I really want the next all I need is do a couple more of the glossy layer to make it even better I have sprayed the fuel tank cover to sparkling silver Followed by the image reference On the side it should be gold color I simply paint it in gold with the gold marker On the rim as well I have sprayed it with the sparkling silver Followed by the image reference I will paint it in gold as well Alright here is the result I'm happy with it after a couple layer of clear glossy spray and also the time need to wait for them dry completely and the result was stunning All the part is nice and shine It looks amazing As we see, they have a different tone on these sections because of the base color we did the color is natural and dynamic and also more depth Okay, next is the more exciting part We're gonna assemble back to the motorcycle again Ta-da! Here we go, we have the Matrix Trinity bike complete! Wow, it looks amazing! Puyo! <laughs> Oh, 
All I can say to do this, you need to have a patience. You cannot be rushed. To get this effect, I actually did a totally 3 layer of glossy clear and has been waiting over 48 hours to get this result. Although this looks good but still not perfect, I'm still missing the decal sticker that I can stick on the bike to get the completion. But again, I'm so happy with the result and I'm so glad this gonna add to my shell with the other custom made matrix figure. Alright, here is the wrap. Hope you guys find this useful. If you have any question, please leave the comments below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and share it to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell so you won't miss the coming soon video. I'll see you soon.